Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 5 of the Luke Mariano Show. Today we have a very special guest. Very, very special. One of my good friends, Ian Sams. Thanks for having me, Luke. No problem. <laughs> so happy that you're here. So first off, I just want to get into... How do you feel about being on the show? What are your opinions on it? Uh, honestly, it's, it's kind of an honor. When he first brought up the idea of it, I, I thought he'd be a perfect host for it. No, I, knowing him for like the past, I don't know how many years, six years, he definitely has the personality for it. And the past couple episodes that I've seen have definitely been been hits. I've been watching them uh, in bed in Waterloo and they've been pretty funny, giving me a couple chuckles. <laughs> thank you. That was like the sweetest intro I've had <laughs> over the past five shows. So thank you. So first off, I want to talk about um, you're down in Guelph studying, yeah. but you're also a trainer. For the men's rugby team? Want to talk yeah. about that or what you do or how you got into that? Anything? Yeah, so basically, I, uh, like Luke said, I go to the University of Guelph. I'm in human kinetics. Humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> human kinetics are like treating people, basically. Um, in my second year, this that head athletic therapist like released an application or whatever for this like student athletic therapy um, course. So I applied for it. Thought I wouldn't get in because there's a bunch of people applying for it. Ended up getting in. The course is really great. Ended up doing well in the course, and then I got selected to be the trainer for the rugby team. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's been pretty good so far. Yeah. So are you the head trainer? Like, what do you have to do? Just like wash their jerseys? Um, they don't <laughs> have the water boy. <laughs> no, so it's me, another guy who's like in the same position as me, and then we have like a head head person. Um, but we're pretty much the ones doing all the stuff. Like a couple of things we've had to do. Some guy had to get stitches, so we had to patch him up. Yeah. Um, definitely just like the taping before before practice and then ice afterwards. Yeah. And then sometimes the players come up and ask for like quick one like, two massage. Yeah, quick one two massage. Can't do it because of COVID, but you know, wish I could get <laughs> wish you could get a bit handsy, but you can't but you can ask you. Um yeah. So it's definitely been restricted, but but glad it's been uh <laughs> glad, glad it's been able to, to happen. Yeah. Alright, now next I wanna get into uh the high school lunch table. So we were friends throughout, I guess, probably three years ago. We didn't really talk much in grade nine. Yeah. And what are your memories from those lunch tables? Those were quite the times <laughs> on the first floor or in the back. This kid was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this kid was crazy. Uh, no, like, Luke was, like, a, like, reserved kid. Like, just, like, anywhere outside of this one hour. <laughs> but once it came to this one hour, this kid was a maniac. <laughs> he was, like, if you see some of the videos, he's, like... He's learning Donkey Kong. He's scratching the tables like this, <laughs> screaming. His veins popping out on his forehead. <laughs> he, yeah, he was a hoot. Everyone on the first floor knew who this kid was because he was so loud. <laughs> but yeah, de definitely, definitely, definitely some of the best times had at high school. Um, yeah, definitely some good stories, some good memories. But oh yeah, I remember one memory, and you probably remember it when. Our friend Dante, who was on episode two, yeah, we were I, like I think carrots I, I at <laughs> someone, uh, another like table, like a rival table, I guess you could say, and they threw back a water bottle, <laughs> and they landed right between us, we're sitting like this, and it only hit you, <laughs> and I was perfectly dry, and you were drenched. Yeah, you that? yeah, it, it so happened that the table who's throwing <laughs> stuff at us was on the baseball team, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we were getting tuna sandwiches and like, apples <laughs> whipped at us, at, like 90 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Yeah, it was, a, it was pretty wild. All right, and I also want to talk about, in high school, we took communication technology, ComTech. It's like a, t yeah. you make videos, edit photos. Yeah. We had that class once or twice, I think maybe in grade nine and maybe, and then definitely in grade 11. And remember we made one video with our friend Michael, clown activity. you want to talk about <laughs> that or what that was about? Yeah, so I think it was like a pretty big project, right? Mm -hmm. Basically, it was a group project. Um, it's for ComTech, so it was like everything related to like video. Um, video production and like editing and stuff like that. Yeah. So we were trying to, I think we had to make a trailer, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 we had, yeah to make a trailer. we had to make a trailer for a, a movie. Um, so we thought of clown activities is what we called it. Basically, I think Luke bought a clown costume yeah. from like Party City. Yeah. We go out to some random Markham Park at like 12 <laughs> o'clock at night in the pitch black and we're filming with some tiny camera from the 2000s. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. it was, yeah, it was pretty funny. I think it was around the time that the whole clown thing was an issue. Yeah, it was like those clowns like, sightings and everyone's getting yeah. scared by them and like, I think that's where that came from. But yeah, yeah. It was, it was definitely a hit. I think, uh, yeah. 
Those were funny times. Yeah. They were great times. And we also know. obviously got good marks on it. Comtech. Yeah. Great class. He actually used it for a, a couple of the, what was it called? The, he was like showing off our work to other people. Oh yeah. And then we had to make posters for it and they showed Ian and Michael's <laughs> poster. And then he gets to my poster and he's like, oh yeah, and this is Luke's. Like, yeah. I wasn't the best editor, but I was there for the moment. Yeah, it, it, was the, it was the art that counted. You could tell he put the work in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a green screen and like Party City costume. Yeah, yeah. So, overall, overall a good... A good class. It was a great class. Yeah. Next I want to talk about, this past summer we got into golf, like I feel everyone did. Yeah. And me and you, we're same skill level, around the same skill level, and we used to play a match every single time. Yeah, well it kind of started Nine whole matches. <laughs> what, all you want to say something? <laughs> you can say something. You can be a special guest. Yeah, the, the audience is uh, not approved with uh, what you No, I think or... we're all, we're all good, no? Me and I never right, said that. All <laughs> same level? Yeah. We're all okay. the same level. Okay, okay, just make sure. But you're just not as good as us. <laughs> anyway, enough of the controversy. I'll we'll get good with the new clubs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to our okay. our guest of the moment, Ian. So we played matches, in nine hole increments. Yeah. You want to talk about that? Yeah. So, well, do you want to talk about our improvement through this, the summer first? We could. Yep. Okay. Well, basically, I this was kind of the summer that I started golfing. Before that, I had maybe gone to the driving range a couple times. Yeah. I, same for you. Yeah. Same. Um. So I think I was shooting like 120 maybe at the beginning of uh -huh. the semester. So for those of you who don't year. golf, that summer. is... Oh, what is the semester? Yeah. It's thinking about school again. <laughs> yeah, so I was shooting around like 120. And if you don't golf, that's like a terrible score. Um, but we definitely improved. We played like a lot. Uh -huh. um, and I think I got down to like the best score is an 87, but like consistently like mid-90s. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we, uh, at the end of the summer, we wanted to start a competition between each other. Uh -huh. Um... And it got pretty heated. Like, we did nine whole matches. I don't know how many matches we did. Probably around, like, ten. Probably around ten, I think. Yeah. Um, and it came down to the very last match of the summer, so. Yeah, yeah, Luke ended up uh, weeding me out. He he took the two la the last two matches, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was kind of disappointing, but. Yeah. Those were super fun and uh, brought a little competition to it. Maybe in the future, uh, we'll be shooting in the 80s consistently. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely next year, like, 80s. Maybe yeah. on the tour. We need to be. Get a new pot of it, yeah. Also, the barstool putter, uh, putter covers. That <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got spin check ones. Spin check ones one maybe coming. Who knows? Yeah. It's really all about looking good. It's Next up, we want to talk about uh, hockey. You played hockey with me before we really even knew each other. You used to get called up. Yeah, you're to my team with booty. We were, <laughs> we were bad. You were on the A Wildale Blackhawks. Yeah, so I was just game Blackhawks, but so then no, but we were really bad, and you guys were really good. So you get called up, defenseman. And, uh, yeah. What do you remember from those games? Um, yeah. So like you said, I played the level below him. We were like would go like undefeated and whatever, um, humble brag. Um, but his team was the level up, <clears throat> but they were in like consistently last place. Um, and I think a lot of the times they needed defense. So I would get called up to that team, mm -hmm. and I got to know your team pretty well because I yeah. I'd been there. I, I don't know how many times I got called up, but it was a good amount. A good amount. Um, but yeah, some of the coaches were definitely interesting. Like mm -hmm. I was a slick back hair. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was interesting. His kid was interesting. I remember one kid on the team forgot his shin pads. <laughs> I forgot who that was. I forgot who that was. I think it was Jaden Sasaski. If you're watching this, I'm pretty sure it's you. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you know his girlfriend. Yeah. And I remember seeing you at golf homecoming. Anyway, <laughs> this kid used <coughs> hockey uh, socks as shin pads and keep them around. That's when I knew the team was a bit rash. <laughs> well, like, keep it interesting. Yeah, but it was nice to be able to like experience a double A, uh, like, double -A level a. hockey. Yeah. yeah, it was definitely different than that. Yeah. You did come up to double A. You played on. I went to the North York Knights. I was there for four years, and you went to the North Toronto. I think. Yeah. Four or five years and. Uh, we had some good matches there. I remember one time, first shift of the game, there's a video of it, everyone's seen it. Yeah. Ian just dumped in, and I get the puck, and Ian, I think went down kind of easily, but like, I'm weak. I'm 100, like, yeah, 40 yeah. pounds soaking wet, and Ian hit me from behind for the first <laughs> shift of the game. Yeah, but I was a bit fired up, too, because I knew people in the stands, and I knew I was playing Luke, and it was the very first shift of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, uh, I was pretty fired up, mm -hmm. and I just went at him a bit too hard. But yeah. Anyway. That yeah. that's that's the call, and you gotta deal with it. But yeah. I I mean, double A like our two teams are pretty evenly matched, so yeah. it's always, there's a, always a blow for one team or the yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. But, but it was always like a good. You never yeah. knew who's gonna win. Yeah, and for double A midget, there was like I guess a rivalry there for no reason. Like we shouldn't care as much yeah. as we did at times. 
There'd be a little scuffle tripping the me and you would just be like, oh, what's up, man? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was always fun. That's why I like playing hockey, because you see your friends from, like, school and stuff. Yeah, but, exactly. Yeah. And also, I want to talk about last part of hockey, school hockey. We played on the Crothers oh, team yeah. in grade 12 together, I think? Yeah. Yeah. You want to talk about that? Yeah, so that, team? that was pretty exciting. I'd say that was one of the highlights of high school. Yeah, for sure. Because coming into high school, I didn't even think I'd be able to play hockey. Yeah. And, like, you you, uh, you play against all these people in rep hockey, and you always want to play, like, with them mm-hmm. on a school team to see how good the team would be. So when we found out we'd be able to do that, that was really exciting. Yeah. So our team was, like, completely stacked. Yeah. I'm, like, I was, like, one of the worst players on the team. And, like, <laughs> that's, like, saying something. Because, like, both of us aren't, like, bad hockey players. Yeah, but yeah. the fact that we're the worst is, like, there's some good players on the team is all I'm trying to say. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, so we, like, pretty much swept the competition. Yeah. It was easy win every time. Um, but, yeah, super fun. Like, just having the the teachers as coaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having degrees and stuff was, was definitely fun. Uh-huh. And, and I stole a jersey, too, so I hanged out in my room. I stole the baseball jersey, so yeah. we got to get our <laughs> yeah. alumni stuff. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's really going to hold you out today. Anything else you want to talk about? Um, well, what was that, your favorite memory from high school? Favorite memory from high school? Or just what, one of the top ones. Uh, I don't know, maybe... Those Comtech classes were really fun. Yeah. In grade 11 and 12, those were always my favorite time of the day. And then in grade 12, I remember actually a funny story. I used to go to Ian and Mike's Island all the time. And then that was when the Nelk boys were just starting to get big. <laughs> and Ian is in class on their full time website buying merchandise. He's like, yo, do you want to get a shirt? I'm getting a shotgun tool. I'm like, okay, sure. And I have a shirt from their first, from the ever first draw. merch draw. Yeah. The full time university gray and red shirt. And that was just funny how we bought that in the middle of love. I left for homework period class at school. Yeah, so well, us two are the OG Nelk boy fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I don't know how I feel about them now, but like before, they're they were super good. They were great. Yeah. So it seems like we've covered everything, but I wanted to end it off with a little game. Yeah. And do you think you could uh, pull your phone for us? Sure. And t- take your Spotify. Can just scroll through my uh, my photos. Yeah, definitely. Open Spotify. Open Spotify, and we're gonna do a little uh, guess the song game. So for you or for me? For you, you're gonna guess the song. Okay. I guess we can maybe do a little back and forth. I'm honestly not good with titles of songs, so I don't know how to But, um, we're just going to go with Kid Leroy. The Kid Leroy, big up-and-coming rapper. Me yes. and Ian love him. Same with our friend Jackson, Shadow Jackson. And I'm just going to do, I'm going to shuffle through all of his songs, and Ian's going to hear the beginning of each of them, and he's going to see if he can guess the title of them. Okay. Do I have, like, a time limit, or is it just... No, well... You try to get it. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, can oh, yeah. you can say pass. You can say pass if you don't get it. Okay, I, I, okay. I think I know. All right. Right. It might be hard the first couple seconds, but yeah, I'll okay. get it. And I'll just say correct or incorrect. Okay. Do, I, do I tap something if I... No, oh, no, you can oh, say oh, it. Oh, 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 you can buzz in, sure. You're going to say it. Okay. And uh, I'll give you... If you guess it wrong, you have one more try. Okay. All right? You ready? Okay, okay go. Oh, this is one of the new ones. Oh. Fuck you, goodbye. Yep. <laughs> I didn't know if I should swear, that's why I hesitated a bit, so. Oh. He's oh, Costa Rica. Yep. Two for two. Oh, this is. Oh, this is... Oh, this is... Go, go, go! Yep. Rest in peace, Juice World. Yep, featuring Juice. Oh, this is a. I don't, I don't even listen to this one. He's oh, featured. Is it, is it a really. Oh, he's featured, I probably won't know. Give five seconds. It's Go Something. Yeah, I don't, like, I recognize this song, but I don't know the title. It's Go Dumb. Okay, yeah, not a dumb. Yeah, not a dumb. <laughs> oh, this is a really good one. <laughs> I can not remember this. He's featured again. Oh, Hellman. Yep. This is my favorite Killer Roy song. So good. Yeah, just the beat has a drop. Oh, 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 oh. oh, Pikachu. Yep. And the yellow Lambo like from Pikachu. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know you like this one. Mm-hmm. 
then face of fan. Oh. Fade away, easy. I I didn't really get that one because he said fade away, but. Alright, let's wanna okay. switch and then I'll try. Yeah, sure. Let's see if he can do this. You just keep pressing next. Okay. Well, uh, I know he's a big Kid Leroy fan, so we'll I see. might have to pick a hard one. Okay, well, we'll start off with a with a, a mediocre one. Hit the other side. Okay, yeah, see that's what that's what I'm talking about. He'll be pretty good. So we got it. We gotta go into the archives. Um Okay. Let's, let's, let's see this one out. Addison Ray. Okay, yeah, that was easy. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see about this one. I don't love this song. This is like his very first song he's ever Blessings. Seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to listen to it. Okay, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do one more, but I'll shuffle, shuffle my entire playlist. Okay. See if you can get it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll find one that like. Give me know. two more. Give me two more. From uh, the Kid Leroy or just like any song? No, two more Kid Leroy's and then we'll end Oh, two more Kid Leroy's, okay. Um, okay, this one. Feel something. Yeah. Ooh, bit, bit slow compared to the other ones. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's probably my least favorite song, actually. Yeah, that's a new track, too, so. Yeah. One more? Yeah, make a good one. Good one? You already know. Every time when I ask you, tell me you're giving up the rush. I'm going to put it out of the rush. Tragic. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that one was tight. I don't think you got that one. Yeah. Comment down below. Yeah, I think I got that one. I started off hot, and then that one. This is a new song. You know? Yeah, I know. I wasn't doing a lot, but yeah. I thought I could throw him with the curveball with the really old one. Yep. But uh, you know what? The great interview. Longest one to date. Yeah. Episode five. Thanks you guys for watching. Thanks Ian for being here. We'll see you guys next time. Smash the subscribe button. If Follow this is up. on YouTube, I don't know. Follow <laughs> the account. See you guys. See ya.